true. Were you the last guys to see Brian Pillman alive? Yes. Uh, we put him to well, bed. We put him to bed. Yeah. Me, Animal, and Tex. Yeah. Did you know he was fucked up? Or? Well, of course. He'd been fucked up. Well, I mean, he at that point, he was walking around with the morphine pack strapped to his arm with an IV. You know? Uh, and... Uh, one of my favorite, maybe my favorite singles match I ever had was against him in WCW in like 92. And uh, then to see him, you know, he was just, we've seen, I, I, left, uh, I left Puerto Rico thinking I would never see Chris Candido again, you know. And then he cleans up, turns his life around. Breaks his ankle, gets on a plane, blood clot dies, you know? One of my best friends. Is, is that what actually killed him? Was it the blood clot I that, yeah. that did it? I'm understanding, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the whole premise of Pillman obviously died of a heart attack, but this was a drug-related yeah, heart attack, course. right? Yeah. Such a shame. Yeah, great guy. What is it about this business? You guys are his friends. You put him to bed. You know he's all fucked up. What is it about this business that this happens to these guys, and how come... There's never, that seems like all those years ago, there was never any intervention. Uh, well, like, back then, it I was. I mean, you could try up, to talk to him as know? a friend, but yes. I mean. No, I mean, it got to a point. We had certain things where, like, you know, Taker would, like, pull somebody and say, hey, you're fucking up. You need to get it under control. And I would say, yes, sir. And then I would go off and do whatever I wanted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, no, it was the, you know, I mean, like, Mark got, in, Taker got in trouble on Joe Rogan for saying how stuff, like, when I started, the guys had knives in their back. I started, I was 19 years old in Tampa, Florida, and in that locker room was Blackjack Mulligan, Dusty Rhodes, the yeah. Nasty Boys, you know? Mm. I literally didn't know I wasn't supposed to get my ass beat in a match for like a year. Nasty Boys just, just were just brutal on me. But I thought that's what it was, and I wanted to be it, so I just stuck it out, and then we got to WCW, and then they came up there, and we were kind of over were WCW, different. and I said to him, <laughs> These motherfuckers beat my ass for a year. I said, <coughs> time to turn it on them. Mm. So we uh, we laid it in. And, nice. Uh, yeah. It's we been were uh, much bigger than them. So who comes up with the name The Godwins? Where did that come from? Uh, did they well, give that to you when you got there? Or? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when we got let go from WCW. Um, went up there. Uh, met Vince and J.J. Dillon in the little kayfabe office there. Mm -hmm. J.J. Yeah. was awake. He wasn't taking a nap. He dozed off a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> we had him on a show one time, and I was like, is this guy awake? But, but go on. Okay, so, you <laughs> so I met with them, and, uh, Vent, you know, we talked for two or three hours. Vince said, uh, well, what would you do? And I told him, you know, I used to work on a psych floor at the hospital and oh, okay. uh, farmed. And, lucky that gimmick didn't take off. Hell, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, two wackos. Yeah, Norman. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and I mentioned the farm, and he says, "Well, would because he's a he's yeah, a ridge he's runner, a, yeah, he's you a, know, a moonshiner, Carolina, right?" Yeah. So uh, he said, "Well, what'd you do?" I told him, "You know, raised hogs, got cows, chickens, got a, got it all." And he said, well, "What do you do with the hogs?" And I said, "Well, we, you know, just feed them, slop them. We have to castrate them." And uh, so when I said the slopping, he, he putting everything together, yeah. and he goes, "Genius." Genius. I like that. So he wanted my initials to be H O G. So I just got that. <laughs> Did you? He's just getting the gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> he had so Wait a See, there was a reason you came to Monty and the Pharaoh man, today. Oh, pig. Pig. <laughs> okay. But uh, he said, let's go with. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I'm just getting it. Go ahead. <laughs> well, okay. So, so he's got he, hog for you, Henry. So, yeah. So okay. he said, Henry and. Uh, he gave me his family's name, Orpheus, okay. from my middle initial. Okay. And uh, so that was it. It took off. And then when he came up. I went to Japan for FMW and went to Memphis with Road Dog. And then Jerry Lawler pulled me in at a Memphis TV and said, you're going to, uh, I think it was Stockton, California, uh, <laughs> to be a partner, to you know get back together with your partner. Well, cool. So I go to the Royal Rumble, and the very first thing I see is Fisher dropped on him and hurt him. And uh, I walk in the locker room, and Undertaker is just ripping him apart. Because he his... broke Taker's uh, orbital socket. He hurt Kevin Nash's back. He just hurt him. I'm like, oh, my fucking Taker's taking wrapping his, his hands up. up. That's his thing. Whenever he wants people to think him serious, like with the Stone Cold right. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Taping the fist up. 
tape in the piss. And what, what, is, what is he doing? What is uh, Viscera it's doing? It's showing you that I'm getting ready to punch no, you. No, what is Viscera doing, right? Uh, Viscera, nothing. Oh. He's just scared, like, I'm sorry. Scared, scared, shitless. No. Yeah. Really? Said, and they let him go the next yeah. week. Yeah. And then he was my partner. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah no, you worked uh, with Viscera he, a lot, yeah. He, uh, he got a lot of chances. I love Nelson. I mean, he was my partner for like I don't know, eight months or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, he was just, he was a giant human being. He was a being, big dude, you know? yeah. But he uh, was a little reckless sometimes. Yeah. And I was like, when Taker, we do doing the ministry, and Taker was like, we're going to bring Viscera in. I'm like, what? why? He goes, uh, then we don't have to work with him. I was like, smart. Fucking genius, really, man. Yeah. Really. 